uh, this is how this was um, famous teaching something like this teaching that I love this this was this uh, um, this book where um, in terms of practical practices were all this stuff. She realized it, and that is that she had not had not reached that to her at that point. But she had started to realize that she needed to get her community members together because she would not be able to do things by herself. So she had gathered a group of 25 vulnerable women who had started life to do it. She had didn't have enough capital, so she had collected 10 capital from this group members. And the group had actually evaluated that we were the most vulnerable among them, and they had tried investing the whole capital to that vulnerable women, and they had given them alternative livelihood options, like they had provided them with training machines, a place to find fat for them, and they had brought them a small grocery store. But in that process, you know, that they had industry type of experiences, they had tried to get the chances. Um, it is our initiative which we just enhance this and take it further. And she is very, very confident that she is in a better state and she's willing to work to work with her group to make betterment of their livelihoods uh, and betterment of their life all together. Okay, let me just ask you one quick question. <laughs> it may be an answer. Uh, so, in real good experience here, do you think it is? That, that unless women have a, a leading role in adaptation, it isn't going to work. Absolutely so. Um, in Bangladesh, um, it is indeed women who take a strong mitigation of their adaptation to climate change. As uh, during this video conference, this coming is really good about um, migration. We, when women have that to be with, from the Center for Advanced Studies, done a baseline study which shows that the highest and the strong increase in women to their childhood that only shows that men either are migrating from their districts. So uh, it is very important that women are given access to resources, they're given rights to property. So basically, what we are working on is taking a way of minimizing the structural value that actually uh, promotes one woman's um, empowerment. Not only, you know, we're not talking about the participation in, the, uh, in, in different programs, different committees. We are talking about their participation in the decision. Right? Uh, so, we really focus on the lot. Um, um, Removing the structural barrier and trying to minimize um, the power relationship and enforcing the notion of gender equality. Uh, and I am sure that they don't have to, with proper structure from our top they will be doing on this job. Thank you so much, and thank everybody. So I'm so good when you get real life time into a conference. Thank you. Uh, that would be.